it creates a table of contents, which is really nice. Okay, so the next thing that we need to create is your daily blog. And the blog is where you're gonna put your notes and participation from class. So your pages are gonna be your assignments and your quests and the bigger things that you do. And your blog is just going to be your record of participation of what you do during class sessions. So again, we're gonna come up here to the piece of paper icon with a plus button on it, and we're gonna create a new page. And this time I'm gonna call this blog. And I do not want the web page for the template. Now, almost anything you do on your digital portfolio can be fixed. So please do not have stress if you accidentally do this incorrectly. And it's very likely that you will accidentally do this incorrectly. Do not worry about it, we can fix it. But we're gonna select a template and that template is going to be announcements. An announcements page creates a blog style page. And I love this about Google Sites because if I'm teaching uh, high school and I'm teaching algebra, geometry, and algebra two, I need to have uh, an announcements page or a blog page for both algebra, algebra two, and geometry. I guess that's three. Uh, right, I would make three different announcements pages, or maybe even six, because I have to have one for parents and then just one for the homework. Um, then we go to file cabinet. We're not going to use that, but that's just how you create a list of attachments. So if you have a bunch of PDFs or Word documents or things that you'd like to share with students or parents, um, you could use that style page. A list page allows you to create a text list of like to-do items, um, check off things, uh, list of links, you know, it lets you create a list. So again, we're not gonna use that. We are gonna use announcements. So if you will choose, a na name it blog and choose announcements, and it is gonna be at the top level, at the top level. And I just go up here to create, 